fine. And we're live. Good evening. Thank you very much for tuning in as usual. Hit that thumbs up button. Apparently it does something. I've got absolutely no idea what it does. Uh, but I've been uh, I've been well informed from Davy House uh, that hitting that thumbs up button does something. Now, the only thing that I can think about doing is obviously with the algorithms and one thing or other on Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook on YouTube. It's sort of I, I do believe that it's puts your audience a little bit bigger. Okay. So <laughs> so today we've had clubs. Let's go and ends with Community Scale Modern Club. You can see that I'm well and truly fleeced up. I've got an hoodie on. And I've actually got my work fleece on because in the shed, it's absolutely freezing. I can't show you my bench because it looks like a bomb's gone off, quite literally. Uh, uh, but uh, so uh, so it's this <laughs> it's this view. It's this view only tonight. John, good evening, mate. Uh, and you can see across the screen there, first day back. Uh, okay, because that's what uh, that's what it's been today. Uh, I uh, Lee, I uh, hope you're well. So uh, two guests on to start with, and then another one coming on a little bit later. Uh, young Lewis, I do believe he's going to pop on. Let's introduce uh, 2023 competition winner, Mr. Craig Stinson. Good evening, Craig. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Are you well, mate? All good. All good in the hood. All good. Where's Logie Bear, man? He's in bed. Is that the other night tonight, getting, getting ready back for school? Yeah, I've got That's mine to weird. get ready back for school on Monday. George, so George, so I did, I did, I've got one of them wall planners, right? And on George's wall planner that I've blue tacked to his bedroom wall, this is absolute <laughs> God's on his truth. I've got, I've put all the days when it's clubbing on the Saturdays. I've put the day when it's the FA Cup final, the Champions League final. My lad follows Frickly Athletic FC, so I've put all those matches in. I've coloured the ones in blue that the matches are at home because he's a season ticket holder with all his crew. Bearing in mind he's only 12, so he goes down with a shitload of lads and ballots the referee and jeers them on one thing or another. I've got all the birthdays on. Absolutely everything, everything, including the school holidays. And he said to me last night when I finished colouring it in, he went, are you joking? I went, what's up, mate? He went, I forgot to wait while July for six-week holiday. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute legend. I wish life were that simple for us. Don't, don't we just? Uh, let me just have a look here. Uh, adding to stage, Andy Norfolk, the rooster, and Jeannie in the background. Good evening, guys. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody? All right, mate. How are you? All right, cool. So I'm fitted back into the routine. Absolutely. I'll tell you what I'm not today. What's that not? I'm not a Viking. Uh, why You're not a Viking. Have you noticed how people just sort of like something happens on Facebook and it absolutely snowballs? Unbelievable. Yeah, I am. Well, have, have you seen these Viking it. posts? No, no. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get I, There's a lot of things on Facebook I don't get. Um, wow. I use it for entertainment, mainly for club, uh, club. stuff like that, keep in touch with mates. But apart from that, I'm not a, a massive Strong fan man. of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll tell you what the surprising thing is there as well. Do you know what? I was talking to Dale about it yesterday. Uh, what had I looked for? Oh, I'd looked for a new light fitting, Andy. And I, I knew that the last time I got a light fitting for shed, I went to screw fix because they were on my doorstep, cheapest, daddy, daddy, da. Yeah. Next day, my Facebook screw fix direct, absolutely chuffing, full of it, full of it. Yeah. And then for another yeah. one. Well, what other one? Uh, oh, I'll tell you what else there are. So I've already mentioned that I'm going to put some shelving up uh, in, in my shed here, in my garage. Uh, and, and I will look at and I couldn't remember what the name of it was. And I never typed this into Google. Never, right? Me and Dale, Callan, and I'm saying, what's the chuffing name of that shell? What shelving? That word, there's two runners. Do you know what I mean? And you put the brackets in there. Later that afternoon... Millions and millions of advertisements on my Facebook feed for slot, twin slot shelving. Yeah, we never, we never even mentioned 
the name. Yeah, it's amazing how they do it in it. Now they get the revenue. Always, uh, always. Jean's always. like that. She's her Facebook's full of all sorts of stuff. She she looks right. into everything. She's always interested in what's going on, and she oh. ends up with all sorts of shite on her face, don't you? Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll club to that. Oh, hang on. Here, yeah. Andy Brown. Good evening. Evening. All. Let's have a little bit of that. I can show that one. Uh, uh, Mr. Housecroft. Oh, uh, we've seen uh, his his ankle picture today. He's not been at club today, Aunt Dave. Uh, and by the Christ, that looks really bad. But he has said, "Evening, Mark and Craigie. Have a good vlog, guys. Uh, get well soon, good Dave." Evening, because... Dave. Yeah, very much so. Uh, that looks uh, that looks a real old mess, does that one? Painful, doesn't it? That ankle. It does look painful. Yeah. Well, he said to me he's got uh, he's been in touch with his consultant, like, and they've undenied him one thing. He knows what he's doing. Uh, but best of luck with that, Dave. Genuinely, mate. Because I know we've talked. We talk. Me and Dave, you know, two or three times a week. I'll ping him up. Or how you doing, mate? And I go, oh, I'm in pain and I can't move from this time to the. And honestly, apart from me, I think. Yeah, you know, come on, pull yourself together. But after seeing that picture, Dave, I've got to say, mate, sincerely, sincerely, uh, I hope you get that fixed because that looks fucking sore as anything. It really, really does. Club today, first club day back, 6th of January 2024, entering into season seven. Uh, I've decided to call it seasons just to change it up, Andy. Shall we call yeah, it seasons? Years old, yeah, it's just an ongoing thing, isn't it? I can't it's believe it's seven years, mate. To be honest, do you know uh, what? Neither can I, mate. Yeah, there's a lot happened over the last seven years. Uh, like minutes. Yeah, it does, it does. And we, we've moved on from one to another. I, everybody else seems to have moved on, so jobs are good. And yeah, so mate. I can't see any problem calling it season seven, mate. Not at all, not at season. all. How long have you been with us now, Craigie? Uh, this will be my third year. Really? Yeah, yeah. Third year. Shut the hell up, are you? Mm -hmm. uh, Even got to rub it in out, but first competition I came second. Yeah, go second on. competition I came first. Third go competition. I'll be another first. <laughs> <laughs> People at club today, Mark Andrews, me always. I'm chopping key holder, so I've got to go. I ain't got any choice. Nice to see Mr. Chris Barlow down at the bottom end. Andy? Yep. Very nice. Uh, very nice always. Chris Chris is doing a lot of 3D experimenting at the minute, and we did have a little catch-up close to the end. Uh, it, it is it is an absolute minefield of experimentation, is that? Uh, and we know that because Trev does it. Uh, Craig, you know Martin today? No, he, he went to hear with his wife for a oh, night. All right. Mm -hmm. As a Christmas present to each other. Happy days. So, very nice. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Uh, Mr. Bridge popping in. Mark, uh, Mark, if you're watching or if you're watching on Catch Up, uh, you know that we all love you, mate, and uh, we know that you're extremely poorly with your cough come cold, uh, and we wish you all the best with that, so I'll get well soon. I will, uh, yeah. uh, I will presently supply, surprise how well he looked today, actually, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was nice to catch up with him and mm. see him. So, yeah, all credit to you, Mark. Keep it up, pal. Keep it up, pal. Uh, Ian Clement sat in his usual seat. Big clam. Big clam. Uh, Big clam. Fisher not in today. Busy. Ali. I, I thought Ali had been in today. First club back. Not in. Trev, I do believe, has gone to Butlins. The damn fool. Oh. In middle of winter. Like you do. Uh, Dave Jackson, no. Uh, rough year. Rough year. Dave Housecroft, as I've said. Fraser uh, did not pop in today. But Bill popped in, just come back from... Uh, where's he been? I have no France. idea. France? Yeah. I thought he'd been to Tenerife. 
Oh, sorry. I thought he'd gone to France on a change. <laughs> no, I think he's been to Tenerife, Jean. Oh, no, okay. Happy days. <laughs> Uh, let me, why haven't I got? Let me just have a look here. Right, so, uh, so Ange and Mark, Ange, uh, Angie's gonna do a great job for us this year, member of the year 2023, uh, and well deserved as well for, for everything that Ange did for us last year. Uh, every time a, a lot of us, a, a lot of the stuff the other guys obviously don't see behind the scenes, and I, and I will ping in Ange very, very regularly. Uh, Ange, can you do me a favour? And it got to the point where it, that actually stopped, and it'd be Ange, job, email, so and so, pronto, Jorine. And uh, because time, time is very precious. Uh, but she absolutely never said uh, manners, or um, you know, she just got on it. Uh, An absolute credit to say that the, they're almost brand new, Mark and Ange, but they fit in so so well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally absolutely. Agree. Totally agree. Mark laid in as well. Our Jeannie, uh, Jean and Andy then. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll just pause it there. I'll put my finger there. Uh, so I've made Jean and Andy the uh, banner for club because uh, to kickstart 2024, instead of having a, a, a model as the banner for club, uh, I've decided that I'm going to have people as the banner for club because people... Absolutely met the club what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Very much we've got, so. Yeah, we've got a lot, of, a lot of good people at club, mate. A lot of good people. We have, love. We have. We have. Uh, Tim Nick, uh, not in today. Andy Norfolk, uh, co-host, guest in with me. Paul Patton. Uh, Paul was supposed to be on live stream tonight. But, Paul, have you noticed, uh, I don't know if you, any of you guys have had it, there's a bug going round. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we had it yeah. all over Christmas. All over Christmas, Christmas, we had it. Craig, you not been partaking in the bug that's going round? Luckily, everyone around me has had it, but not me. But, well, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I hope you don't get it, mate, because it absolutely wallops the shit out of you. Yeah, uh, so fingers crossed. Proper, mate. Fingers crossed for you, touch wood. Well, Paul Patton's got it, uh, so he's laid up. Martin Radford's late coming, uh, but bringing a couple of models in that I never got to photograph, uh, and I should have done. Padre's got uh, he Padre's spinning a million plates. Uh, no Shara today. I thought Shara might have popped across for first day back. Rob Smith is with family. Craigie co-hosting in as usual. Uh, great attendance last year, Craig. Alan Stringer, otherwise occupied with, with family. Dougie took uh, in as usual. Uh, nice to see. And I actually get Dougie. Dougie was the only person who didn't collect his savings from last year, Andy. Never? Bloody hell. All credit to him. And it broke my heart and it nearly broke the bank. <laughs> When I gave him his six pound back. <laughs> Good on you, Dougie. <laughs> Do you know what? You know, in little brown envelopes, in little brown envelopes that we put everybody's twenties and twenties and fifties, and we stick it all in there. I, I put five. I think I put six pound coins in to make it feel like he got something. <laughs> Bless him. Bless you. I don't like Dougie. He's a bit of a dry bugger, not quite, isn't he? He's a, he's a gem. He's a gem. He is. Uh, Simon popping in today. No Andy White. Mark Wilson, nice to have Mark back. Mark was ill just before Christmas. Uh, and missed three or four, maybe four or five, uh, because of his, uh, his illness. Lewis, hopefully coming on a little bit later on. Uh, we all love a bit of low. Uh, Derek Clark popping in, no Connor, Mr. Chris Smith, we love Chris, I think he's an absolute gem, uh, Barry he popped in, and Mark, can I pinch you today for half an hour, I said you certainly can young man, that didn't happen mate, just far too busy, Graham made the trip again all the way over from Cleethorpes, which is absolutely outstanding, that is commitment, that is commitment, do you know what? It's uh, 
It, it is. It's quite. Every time I see Graham, it's like Jesus Christ. It's quite unbelievable. Uh, John Eastwood not in today. Dale obviously don't come on first meeting at month. Andy Artup popped in though. Nice to see Andy. Yeah, nice lad. Nice to see him. Uh, but no Bob from Doncaster, and I think I think that's just about it. So I had to. Uh, oh, Neil Hendry. I do apologise. Neil Neil popped in and had a good session today. A good sesh. Uh, and I think that's just about it. So out of 36 people on the books, 36 or 22 in, it felt, I know this is going to sound really, I'm going to sound like a, I'm going to sound, how am I going to sound? Uh You're quiet. Yeah, but Craig, there were 22 people there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you so, can't knock that, mate. I mean, if 22 is quiet, you yeah. know, it just goes to show what sort of, you know, what sort of numbers we're getting on a, you know, busy day. I think that's the point I'm trying to make, Andy. When you've yeah. got, I mean, obviously there's there's more clubs than us, but, you know, there's some clubs that'll get 8, 10, 12 on a good day. And we're saying that 22 and it felt quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I think there were a lot of work done as well today. The Hell of a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I think that helped in the keeping it sort of low profile sort of thing. Yeah, um, everybody seemed to crack on, mate, didn't they? That's it, yeah. Even even Jean got you got a fair bit done today, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Me, um, yeah she's doing one of these uh, main paratroopers. Oh um, yeah. So she, she got him basically assembled. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just filling and painting now. Yeah. Cool beans. Isn't it? Yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is, yep. he, is, he, is he allied? Is he, is he, what is he? German. Is he German. German. Have you got box? Okay. He's just going to get box out and show you. We'll um, to when she gets history, mate, on our channel. She's, uh, she's taken to them. I don't know if you've seen photographs of them other little tanks she's made. Oh, oh, oh I've seen them. Yeah, Doug Tuck had some. Yeah. Yeah, they look all right, them, actually. It's quite a thing, to be honest. It's a right ugly little bugger. Yeah. It, it, it reminds me of somebody. Uh, I, can't, I can't think who it reminds me of, but it's got a right hooter on him. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got him. Yeah, look at that. Looks a bit like Dougie. I, I, well, I no. Uh, maybe. <laughs> But I didn't say that. You said that. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, Doug. So I'm only kidding. I'm so kidding. she's been on with that, bless her. So jobs are good. Uh, I were cracking on with that Sky Train uh, and found out that I've got some bits that have gone missing. Uh, <laughs> no, I've had this place upside down. God knows where it's gone. Right, so so an, email, an email's been sent to uh, Airfix. I don't know where the hell it's gone. So no, it's not really cleaned up. It it might it, she says it's not her that's cleaned up, but I've got my suspicions. No, I haven't cleaned your desk for weeks. <laughs> I, I will bet, I will bet it hasn't been binned. I will bet it's in the box of another kit. Uh no. Yeah. I've tried that because I've had all the box I've only got I've got three on go up in it. Right. Uh, uh no, it's not. <laughs> Um, I've got bike going, it's not in there because I've only got a few bits left. Yeah. Concord have only just opened up the yeah. FW14, yeah. it's not in there for obvious reasons. Uh, the only ones I've got open are that one that I've only just had a look at. Uh, a mate bit. of mine gave me that, mm. so it's not in there. And the only other one I've got open at the moment is another one that my mate John gave me, lad I used to race with. Yeah. Uh, Back in the days. That one. You know, you know this this uh, this Dakota that you're doing. Yeah. It's a shelf queen, isn't it? What do you mean? I mean, it's one that you started ages ago and put it back. Well, no, because what we're going to do is keep it just for club. All and, right. 
that's what's confusing me because I, I intended to keep it as club and I've done it as keep it in my box. And that's yeah. why I can't understand why bits are missing. It just don't, it don't, I don't know. It just doesn't add up, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, so the email's gone off, and I will be uh, cracking on with that when I get my bits through. I can do oh. all other sub assemblies, engines, and bits and bobs, and whatever. So, yeah. I'll keep doing that now. But yeah. um, what I am going to have to do is now. Uh, we've got the green lights for all competitions because we're a bit unsure of when competitions were starting, but obviously it started now, aren't they? Yes, and it's mate. just the end oh, of date well. that I'm worried about. Yeah, rise. Let me get my book out. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do exactly the same with my calendar, yeah. which was proudly given to me by you know who. Airfix. Oh, cool. So, I think if we all make a note of when they finish, it'll give us something to do. Right. Or work two, should I say? Work two. I've, I have got them. Right. Are you ready? So, I'm ready. So, apart from normal competition this year, which is held on the of November. The what of November? Yeah, November. November, right, okay. Yeah, so apart from the main competition, we've got three group builds. Uh, and what we're going to do with that is uh, they are just uh, sort of like side, little side competitions. Uh, once the end date uh, comes, we put us pictures onto the Facebook group uh, and the online members and the physical coming members will vote on who's won what. Uh, we're not saying that there's going to be massive prizes. There might be a pot of glue for somebody in a bit of tape. But at the end of the day, it's just to keep you just to keep you in. So, group builds starting on the 1st of January until the 30th of June. 30th of June. Yeah. Let me get to June. Right. May, June. 30th. Yeah. And that competition is called Gizzerlift Cocker. Gizzerlift Cocker and Gizzerlift Cocker and in your best Yorkshire accent, Gizzerlift Cocker. Right, so Gizzle that is cocker. that is anything that can lift something up. So digger, fork truck, sky crane. Uh, something with a grabbing attachment on it might be a tank that's got a swing boom on it. Uh, anything that can basically lift something up, right? Okay, got that. Your second group build started as well on the first of January, and that's called Top Me Tan Up Baby. Top Me Tan Up Baby. And that runs until the 30th of July. Right. So it's July. 30th of Top July. Up. Me tan. Top me tan up, baby. Baby. Yeah. And right. that is. So that one, that's any passenger commercial carrying aircraft. Your Boeings, your Tri-Stars, you know, your big white tube with big white wings on it. Yeah. Okay, but also yeah. it could also include as a, as a commercial passenger airline something smaller like a Learjet or something similar. Right. Okay. So that's the flight. Oh, it is flying yeah. then. Flying. Yeah. Flying. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be in flight for the. Uh, for no. The not, yeah. But we're talking wheel. aircraft. Yeah. Aircraft. Yeah. White yeah. jokes full of farts that are taking people somewhere hot. Yeah, really right. And then the next one, the last one, again, started on the 1st of January, and that's your 5x5 five five dio. So what we've asked this year is you can do a diorama on a 5-inch square by five inches tall, right, so really tiny, 
and that can be absolutely anything. And that runs until the first meeting in December. Oh, right. Because that's a tough one. December, right. December. First meeting, so that'd be the 7th of December. Something like that, mate, if you've got a calendar at hand. Yes, I have. First Saturday in December is the 7th. Cool. Five by five. Is it really? Dialogue. Yeah. Trust me. Hey, I'll tell you what, that puts Christmas shopping day on 14th. Bloody hell. Yeah, and then obviously it's second. Well, yeah, so will that be first and last? Or will you won't be having one on 21st, will you? No. No. Yeah, go on. I, go I'll on, tell you, why you know, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll tell you for why. When we were down in the library, when we first set up, we couldn't have one on third Saturday in December because the library was closed. Yeah. Then we moved to Hemsworth Community Centre. We couldn't have it on third December in third Saturday in December because the community centre was closed. Then we moved to Burntwood. We couldn't have it on the third Saturday in December because the centre was closed. Then we moved to Badsworth, but we didn't stay there long enough. And now we're in Upton Village Hall. And even though Upton Village Hall is open, on that day, it's, uh, I think it's the old folks dinner. We ought to send Bill. Right, we can join. Shall, shall we all put some wigs on and go and hobble in? Well, some of us don't need wigs, do we, mate? <laughs> I'm going to say, some are fine. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> A bill, some bills. So, you would need a twig, wouldn't so you? Yeah, that's, that's a three group bills. Right. Okay. Super. Uh, me, where's my mouse gone? It's down here. I'm just going to show that one, and that's off aid. Uh, just popped in to say hi. Have a great evening, all. Good evening, Ed. Thank you. Don't Good forget evening. to hit the thumbs up. Apparently, with the. Uh, Algorithms, it does something to you, Job, and it makes us even better than what we are, although I find that hard to believe. Okay, so 22 in today, quiet club. Uh, we've got the new layout of the book that I've done. Bonus ball sheets, they went all all right, and we're sizing up for merch. Craigie, I didn't see you about merch yeah. today. Oh, I did, didn't I? You did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did. I got I yours and Bolton. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna message her. I can't yeah. guarantee because obviously I don't make them. But I, I'll do what yeah. I can. Okay. If It'd not, we'll be, nice, we'll be it? stuff. It would be yeah. nice. It would be nice. It would be. Uh and because uh and again, obviously for the people in YouTube land who are watching. So uh we have merchandise every year, and Craigie is sporting his fifth year anniversary. Oh, is that your hoodie, that one, Craig? It is, yeah. It is. So, on the... Is it the the right hand... What have you got on the right hand side there, mate? Don't ask me which is right and left tonight. Jesus. So, which side are we on here? Let's have a look. Which side do we Not my right, first? your right. Not your right, my right. <laughs> Put your mind up. So, we've got the fifth one there. Yeah, fifth year anniversary. On that side. My name, so I don't yeah. forget it. And your name. And the V, what's the V for, mate? What's the V in gold for? Vegan. Vegan. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Craig, what's the it's V in really gold for? for? <laughs> it's for the veterans. For the veterans. For, for the veterans. guys. Thank you very much. Yes, us more uh, people. Dominic from the Netherlands. Good evening, Dominique. Hope you are well. Uh, and Andy, look at oh, just hang on a minute, Craigie. Just so, and that's embroidered on. It's not. It's not ironed on. Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah. We know that ironed on stuff. Uh, it it just don't don't work on a, on a garment like a hoodie. It never has. Uh, it, it peels no. off, 
And if it's not done right, I mean, the, the people who we use, Glow Clothing, they do it right. Uh, but I, I have got merch that's got ironed on stuff uh, on hoodies and it's it's peeled off because it's just, it looks naff. Craigie, on the back, what have you got on the back there, mate? Can you do me a 180? Do you see it? Now we certainly can. Let me just make you there. Let me just make you full screen there, Cocker. Uh, if I can, right. uh, you'll stay there. So I'm going to drag you across here. And we can see the gorgeous Spitfire uh, Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. Thank you very much, sir, for that. Appreciate that. No problems. Beautiful. And Andy, you've got one of the original yes. shirts on, look. Yeah. And that badge that I'm hovering my mouse over now, that's that's actually the original club badge from seven years ago. Yeah, uh, that's that's some kind of fighter with another fighter in chase, and it's Sesco and Emsworth. What does it say there, Andy? Because we haven't got the word community in. Uh, it's just got Sesco Emsworth, uh, and then uh, Scale Model Club. Oh yeah, so that is one of the. So it's blasted well, that, hasn't it, mate? Yes, I use it for every club meeting. Uh, yeah. I use it to like general club, uh, and then obviously I use the black ones for any special events that we do, like shows okay. or visits or anything like that. Tidy. And I'm just going to make myself big uh, because I have actually got the burgundy. Because I, I did want to go with a burgundy, but we all voted against it. And if you see, I've got a number seven there. That's going to be the new logo for the seventh year, and it's incorporated in. Why am I? It's incorporated into a star uh, for the seventh year anniversary, and it's what, what. What do you two guys think of? What do you, independently? What do you two guys think? Uh, you know, we we sort of like change the merch every year, eighteen months. You still all right with that? Well, yeah, it, it's nice to have fresh stuff. Um. Um. Maybe something a bit different next year. Yeah. Maybe a hat or something redesigned. But yeah. I do like having fresh stuff because I wear this lot more than I do my normal stuff. It's either that or I'm work working clothes. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you like wearing your sweatshirt and that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. She likes to keep warm, as you know, ladies do. I'm a cold person. Uh, cool or cold? Cold. 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 Not cold. Um, Absolutely. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. I'm going to pay oh, for that, you know what I'm doing. I know, mate. I'm just listening. If I can trip you up for the rest of the night, mate, so you'll get a pummeling later on, it's all good. But Thank for, you. This year, for, this year, for this year, we've gone for, we're, we're offering the ladies and the gents, of course, we're offering a pink alternative. Gene, oh, what's your thought that. that? Love it. Love it. I will love it. Mate. Love it. I'm having pink. Definitely pink. We're having pink. We're having pink. pink. Craig, do you, do you want pink, love? No, I'm not interested. I'm not broken oh, You do really, don't you, mate? You do really. Yeah, do. Oh, and yeah. Then you can wear you can wear it in at night time when nobody's looking. You can wear your pink outfit. Yeah, I've been doing days well. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Happy day. <laughs> so. Uh, so we've introduced this year because we've always had the style of T-shirt that Andy's got on at the moment, which is a collared, quite thick cottoned T-shirt with everything uh, embroidered on. We, the reason that we go embroidered is because Glow Clothing that do our merch nail it every single time and it doesn't fade, it doesn't crinkle, it's just absolutely perfect. But this year we're doing... A black breathable t shirt, which is like the, the PE t shirts that kids wear at school. Because in summer, I was sat at club literally melting, it was that hot. And I just thought we need an alternative to the thicker cotton. So, the, the breathable t shirt in black this year, that's uh, entirely black. But when you look at it in a different light, Andy, yeah. it sort of like changes that tone of black, if you will. 
Uh, right. We're having Seven Star on. We're having the Club Phoenix on, and we're having the Spitfire on the back. So I'm taking orders for those. And those are fifteen quid a piece. I mean, absolutely bang on that. You, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. me and I, I, I ordered for myself and Jean the uh, yeah. zippity doo dah and a t-shirt a piece. So that's just sorted out. Yeah. Absolutely. So we've always had pullover hoodies because. Uh, I've had the call them Zuddies. I didn't even know. Did you know the call them Zuddies, Craig? No, never even no. heard of that before. Never even heard of it. Uh, so, uh, so we're introducing Zuddies this year, which is a hoodie, but it's got the zip up the front. So it's just a little bit of something different. The reason that I mean, I'm gonna get a pullover hoodie because I do like that style. I always found that the Zuddies. That sort of went a little bit baggy here at front. Yeah. But either either, we'll have to wait and see. We'll right. have to wait and see. Okay. Uh, look at that off our Al. Get a tattoo, then go shirtless in the height of summer. Let me tell you, Al, me, <laughs> naked, no. Not what no. you want to be seeing, Cocker. No, no, we'll have none of that, carry on. No, 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 no. no. James volunteered to have a chest done. <laughs> She's had somewhere there. tattooed, but I can't, I can't show you just at the moment. Yeah, I know it's on a butt cheek. Right, so <laughs> I know I'm not far off. So we've done we've done breathable t-shirts. We've gone for a pullover hoodie that's going to be embroidered. So the t-shirt is printed. Now, so listen, I got this hoodie, with, and that's printed on. And I got that in uh, October. So it's been through four washes in October, four in November, four in December, and it has not moved a millimetre. So I okay. trust, I trust Glow Clothing at Featherstone to deliver a top-end garment for 15 quid. You go out and try and get a, a Nike t-shirt for 15 quid. Yeah, right. No chance. No. No, no, no. no. Absolutely no chance. Uh, Paul Radcliffe says, please no caps. The reason that Paul is sending uh, sending that one is because uh, he watched one of my old videos today when I was sat in here in the summer, I do believe, with a baseball cap on. Uh, and he's like, don't forget, you're over 50, you're not 18, you're daft lad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, to him. I think well, once I've to, be, to, be to be fair to you, I, I like wearing my club hat, you know, because it takes yeah, me back to my youth, you know what I mean? Very much so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So because we had so, uh, so many bums on seats last year, uh, the, the admin... Uh, the admin, the, the don't, the don't take a penny out of the club. We don't take a penny. We we run it because the guys that come constantly week in week out uh, and put a bum on a seat that helps pay the rent and helps pay for the public liability insurance. The re the main reward that the club gives back to all those people is to say, here's your merch. We've been to the store. They've quoted us 40 quid, which is about going price for a, a embroidered one, two, three place embroidered hoodie. But we've got enough money in the bank that we can discount everybody a tenner. I mean, it's when you've got 35 people on your books and you'll discount everybody 10 quid, that's 350 quid just gone. Yeah. Uh, don't yeah. Watch, does it? Doesn't go very far. Not at all. Uh, Alistair says it's okay. I've not eaten my tea yet. You are a cheeky monkey. Oh, well. Uh, Paul Radcliffe says, <laughs> correct. Uh, apparently, I don't suit baseball caps. Do you know what? I've, I've slipped up here because there is a black baseball cap of George's up here. Uh, and I know that Paul will be watching tonight. Uh, and I was going to put it on and I forgot. You might as well do it now. Just try it on. 
I know, I you know what, I might do. Uh, Dominique says, what a good initiative from a club. Uh, a new club logo every year. I mean, Andy, you're right. You know, you wear... I, I, I wear my club merch. I, I finish work on Friday tea time. I come home, I get a shower, I put my club stuff on. It's just what I do. Yeah. And I've got, I've got the blue club T-shirt, the black one. I've had a burgundy one done off glow. I've got uh, the grey one, a green one. And all weekend, I just seem to fall into wearing club stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one of the original green hoodies. Uh, the only thing I don't like about that is the pockets seem to end up round by my knees for some strange reason. Um, the black one, like I say, I normally wear that when we're doing something special. Um, right. I've got the uh, body war, not the body war, but the fleece. And the fly jacket, is it they call them? Uh, the, uh, the soft shell. Soft shell. Soft shell. Soft shell. And uh, I am the proud owner of a baseball cap as well. Go and right. and a woolly, a woolly, uh, a woolly, woolly what do you call them? A woolly bricky thingy hat. It, yes. The beanie, that's the one. When we do club merch, when I talk to the admin about club merch, <laughs> and there's a timeline on it, and you'd say, is it time to freshen it up? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many advertisements Andy you see on TV about how good laundry detergent is and how it cares for your washing, a new washing machine, and one thing or another, ultimately things wear and tear and fade out. And I think that to keep us fresh, it's nice that... We are regenerating every 18, 24 month and, and keeping it fresh. I'll tell you what, in, in three years' time, I think we're going to have to really sit and think because that's the big one. That's the you big know, one. That's like a major milestone, is that? Very you know what I mean? And I'm looking forward to it, you know, because it, it's going to be quite an achievement, mate, isn't it? Quite an achievement. You, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Certainly not trying to steal your thunder, mate. I've been thinking about that ten-year anniversary stuff, literally since two years ago when we had the yeah. fifth-year anniversary stuff done. You're thinking, are we going to go retro? Are we going to go back in time? Are we going to? Are we going to have logos across the back of the first badge, the eagle that we had for the second badge, the phoenix? Are we going to change it? There's so many things going through my mind on, on the design. Then you think, I'm thinking, uh, what about offering the merch to people that watch the channel, to people that follow club on the channel, on the Facebook yeah. group? Because at the minute, there's not many people that are outside the click, if you will, that order. Paul Radcliffe, we always make sure that Paul gets club merch. Uh, my boss has club merch. He wears it. Uh, but there's not many people who are outside who say, show me a picture of a T-shirt, Mark. I want my 15 quid. I'll have one of them. I, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it might yeah. be in, in year 10, it might be something that we offer. Yeah. So, uh, House's Modelling Shed, laid up Dave, says, I love wearing baseball caps, especially the Blue Jays, because Dave... He's fortunate enough to go to Canada, not regularly, but he does go. And Paul says, yeah, yeah look, like, look, look at that. Paul Rad from the world. Yeah, look like a BMXer from the 90s who was shit and didn't get his footage on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Radders. I'll be ringing hey. you tomorrow. Yeah, ringing his neck. <laughs> Uh, Al says 10th wedding anniversary is leather so let's get flying leather, let's get flying jackets aka World War 2 pilots I love it, I love it a bit maverick, shall we go maverick with glasses oh on? god yeah, yeah imagine turning up with, with leather jackets on and, and shades aren't it with fly goggles and scarf <laughs> you remember yeah, your mate. saddle with scarf you remember it, yeah. that one yeah. funny as hell that in fact, <laughs> uh, oh, I was going to put mine on. I had it in here. I've got my flying helmet, my goggles somewhere. So, yeah, that that would be funny. That really would be funny. Yeah. 
<laughs> Happy days. Paul Radcliffe, hello everybody. Great start to the year. Yeah, it was it was a it was a quiet club today, Paul. But uh, I did take some photos. I did actually take some photos. Let me just add a little screen here if I can. I'm just going to open a few things up uh on my PC. I'm gonna double tap some buttons. Back in a second. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm just going to scroll down, come back. Uh, I'm going to share my screen for that one and click on share. Uh, I'm going back to the studio. So, so that's our Facebook page uh, of Club Today uh, that you can see. All right. What does House's modelling shed say? It says Bill Wood. Look even more like Biggles, bless him. Absolutely, of <laughs> course. So, uh, first day back, 22 in today, but felt quiet. Join me tonight by hitting this link in blue. Uh, da -da 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 -da. With the regular guests, Sandy and Jean, Craigie, uh, Craigie Stins, Paul Patton is unwell. Uh, so, get well so mate. And young Lois Dell is coming on. So, if I double tap on these... Uh, are we getting the full screen? I think we are. Yes, we are. So, in shot, we've got uh, our marquee uh, with Doug Tuck. And deep in conversation, I usually sit here, but I left them to talk to natural way. Uh, it's uh, George, took George down to club with me today. George in his... Uh, what what sort of hat is that? Stone Stone Island or something? I can't remember. Yeah, Stone Island. Stone Island. Jo George in his Christmas Stone Island cap, uh, chewing the ear off uh, off Marky Wills, which is great. Yeah. Poor Mark, he sat there for ages listening to him. It yeah. is, mate. <laughs> he's, a, he's an absolute star. Uh, I love this picture. Uh, so this is now the club banner. <laughs> Rowan our genie. There you go. That's Club Banner. So, two new, two, yeah, I'm going to say two new starters today. Two new starters today. A chap called Andy and a chap called Heath uh, from uh, Doncaster and uh, Rail, I don't believe. Uh, but popping in to see us today. Uh, and I've had some feedback from Heath and he said absolutely loved it. We'll definitely be back. We've got the machine. The Young machine. Boy. The machine. We've got the machine. So he it, it, wants his nickname changing now, doesn't he? I've, I've heard he does, mate. Uh, if you'd have come up with something that was uh, a little bit more patriotic, I might have thought about it, but he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chris in green and DC, that's our Derek. Uh, Derek looks like he's been shopping, but he, I just managed to catch Derek as he was leaving today because I wanted his photo. Uh, nice to see Andy beavering away at the bench. Mr. Oh, himself, our Ian Clement. Always busy at club, is Ian? Always. There's our Graham, our Graham from Cleethorpes. And I did actually put a little map on there to show that one hour and 20 minute journey that he makes each way. Uh, Neil Busy Beavering away as well. Our Ma, Martin Radforth, looking a bit. Uh, he's had his hair cut. <laughs> Did you, see the kits? Did you see the kits he brought in? I, I'm, I'm just looking at his love art shaped haircut. What's he done? Well, he's, he's probably, <laughs> he, he might be losing it. It might be his, his new year resolution to look I'll tell uh, you what. 80s. I'll tell you what. I know what he's doing there, Andy. He's going what, for I, the classic, he's going for he's the good. classic Harry Potter. <laughs> 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 he's our man. Me next time. Yeah, yeah, mate. Mr. Chris, uh, methodical builder to the extreme, is our Mr. Oh, Chris. Not our love his stuff. Not lot. Uh, that's your lot. Let me come out of that. 
Uh, nice to see Heath uh, and Andy in today. Uh, it's great when we do all get null members. There it is. Look, there's the banner. Ruin Gene. Uh, and there let's have a look. So, yeah, we're going to have a look through, mate. Yeah. Andy, tell yeah. us what's going on here, Cocker. Right, I've uh, I've got it here with me. I was hoping to bring it in today, but yeah. I've had uh, major problems with it. Right. Uh, the most of it's got together really well, but this front fairing's been an absolute twonk. I don't right. know. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a. a it's obviously two halves that make the hole, yeah. and for right. some reason, every time I touch it, the uh, split it splits there. So I have reinforced it on the underside and I'm yeah. leaving it to dry now and it'll be finished, resprayed and put back on, ready for the next meeting. So, right. yeah, it, I, I'm quite chuffed with it, actually. Uh, yeah. it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Everything's on it, alt wires and cables. The exhaust went together really well, which is a surprise because I have so, I've had so much trouble with the old... The old type kits, trying yeah. to get the curves and everything. But Tamia again, shake and bake, lovely, cracking job. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to bringing that next week. Cool. Next time, sorry. Flipping across one from the other side. Uh, it looks like a, a double parted engine with loads of bits just sort of added on the side there. And yeah. Yeah. The, the, the engine's uh, like a uh, crankcase. Uh, cylinder heads and the heads and then you've got some chrome pieces on either side the carbs fit together on a manifold that slips into the back of the heads and they're right. just it's actually a flush fitting to go into the air box which i thought were a yeah. bit strange well that's come off uh and then the manifold obviously coming out and the exhaust comes out and it's a four into two Lovely split. Yeah. Jobs are good in. Yeah, I'm very pleased with it. that picture up because I know that Paul, Paul Radazar, Paul loves building a bike. Uh, what's the track with the springs there, Andy? Are they just like moulded <laughs> plastic? Yeah, they are these ones. They're just a, a one-piece uh, coilover. Uh, mm -hmm. Some models you do get the uh, option of or the, the actual spring is a spring, and you get collets yeah. to put top and bottom, which are, I think look okay. Uh, these aren't too bad. You've got to do a bit of wash on the lower end of the spring and then the darker end of the, the shock absorber that cap, cap, uh, attaches to the swinging arm. Uh, but they look good, not bad. Uh, like I say, they don't spring like the uh, actual spring ones do, but it looks okay, yeah. Looking tidy, mate. Looking tidy. Oh, that's... Uh, I know he doesn't mind me sharing because we're all sharing his caring. But that, if I didn't see that line there... Yeah. Uh, Dave, who's currently on, uh, uh, watching on chat, Dave's had a, an ankle fusion operation and it that's looks like his foot... Looks like his foot's eating a melon and not, not being able to swallow it down his leg. <laughs> Uh, that's really that looks really bad. Uh, I might as well show it what we got. So uh, that's my first attempt at rust effects on the leaf springs, Andy. Yeah, that's the chassis for the sidecar, isn't it? It is, mate. What it, do you think? Yeah, uh, you you're rocketing on with that, mate. Now rusting is something I'm going to have to have a go at because I've got an idea for the uh, competition jobs. I've never done a lot of uh, rusting type stuff like that but uh that's something we're gonna have to look into I'm, i'll tell you what mate it's looking well well cool is that mate well cool i will show you, I will show you product because right. i am not there's one thing that i'm definitely not and that's a secret modeler if i've got a product and i think this is brilliant i'm not one of them that holds it to my chest and says i don't want anybody to know i won't yeah. tell anybody anything so the yeah. product that i used for that, if I can hold it up to my camera, well, I can. Mm. If it'll be back to front or not, can you see that? Is it back to front? What is that cost? I'm on a small screen here, mate. So that's I can't AK, actually see yeah. that. That's AK rust, rust streaks, and you paint it on, Andy, right? Yeah, 
and it's it actually almost looks like corroded metal. Looks like rust. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I've written. I made a note of that. Yeah, it's something I want to do. Um, I think Dougie knows what it is. I bought a tractor at um, where did I buy it? Halifax, didn't I? I bought a tractor at Halifax. Uh, yes. And it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I've got a little dio in my head about that one. So, is it the Hella one? Pardon? Is it the Hella kit? I'm not 100% sure without looking at it. I think so. It's a Dukes or something. D a, red, a red and yellow box, Andy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah the, it's... So it's gonna it's it, it's gonna get a, a bit of scene to, uh, and then we'll take it from there. Tidy. Uh, the picture there. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sort of like championing the fact that I've got a bottle of drink on there. Uh, oh yes, you are. But I am. You are. I'll tell you why I got that a little bit further down the line. But you can see that the bike is sort of two thirds done. I've got the front end to do. Uh, that's the beginning of the chassis. Uh, and the sidecar. Uh, uh, next picture, obviously, just bare plastic. Uh, get rid of that. Just bare plastic and a primer. Okay. Uh, the reason that I got that is because, let's see if I can find it. I'm just going to scroll past the post that I've put on from other people. I'll, I'll go back to these. But the chap that I built the bus for, which is down here somewhere, the chap that I built the bus for, uh, he said, how much are you going to charge me? And I said, I don't want any money at all, uh, but I do want reimbursing for the products that I've used, which were two bottles of paint, a rattle can of gloss, and a bottle of chrome paint, which came to 25 quid. So he gave me the 25 quid for the stuff that I bought and then he gave me that bottle of Glenfid. Very nice. That's Very nice. Lovely. lovely. I'm scrolling past loads here. I've got loads to go back on. Look at Davy House's ass. Not literally. Uh, where the bloody hell is it? I've got so much to scroll back on. Bloody hell. Somewhere down here, Paul Patton's eggs. Somewhere down here, there's a... Ah, oh, there it is. Somewhere down here. There's a bus <laughs> somewhere down here. There's a bus, and you know what? Uh, I, I read this comment, and uh, it makes you feel great. Can you read it? Yeah, yeah. I've read it. Uh, I've read it before. Yeah, cool, line it. Well, cool. Well, cool. Uh, and, you know, I, I reply to everybody, everybody that uh, everybody that talks to me and comments uh, on my bills that I put on, uh, I always reply back to them on YouTube when they put a comment on YouTube. Uh, and, and thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Uh, right. So, Shara, let's go back down. So we've got a bit of them in an hour. We've passed this. We've scrolled past that. We've seen Dave's uh, joint at Park. That was the sandwich order. Uh, young Lewis is coming on. He's on in a minute, pal. No problem. Uh, that's that. So, young Alistair. I call him young because he's younger than me. Young Alistair. Al, I know that you're watching, mate. Uh, you've put first model of 2024 getting there. Will you do us a favour and tell us what that is? An aeroplane. Uh, because... <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> Uh, I've got absolutely no idea what it is. And in the comments, nobody has put, oh, that's a nice so-and-so. So, no idea. This one, uh, this one's a, a good picture. So, uh, Graham from Cleethorpes is currently building a similar bike to the one I'm doing. But if you remember, Graham is brand new to airbrushing. He seems to technique to technique to like a duck to water, doesn't he? Absolutely, duck to water. Absolutely. 
absolutely. Uh, and he's making uh, he's making our Dale a little bit jealous as well. So, uh, James, so I've been chatting to James uh, literally all week. Uh, and I know James uh, from Plymouth because uh, I always talk to him when he goes to Telford. Uh, and, and he's become quite uh, quite the friend. Uh, and he's doing some weathering work. What do you reckon, Craig? You're, you're the weathering guy. What do you reckon? I think that's spot on. I don't know what it is, but it's driven off fucking typical. Bit. I don't believe, and I, I know that he's at pantomime tonight. Uh, that's how that's how well I know people. I know he's at pantomime tonight, so I know that he's not watching. But I do believe that that's a one in sixteen half track. Is it, it Craig? Detailed. Can you say that? Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. It does look like that, doesn't it? A one in it sixteen does. after. But for one in sixteen, it's got to be perfect, hasn't it? You see yeah, mate, absolutely, absolutely. It has got to be nailed on. But he's doing his painting. He's doing his weathering. So we're happy with that. Looks well, does that, James? Thanks for sharing that, that mate. Loads from SGS models. There it is. That's the one that Graham's doing it. Look, and this will be the first build of 2024. So I'm doing the Zundap. Uh, and Graham's just doing German military motorcycle with sidecar. Okay. Davy Housecroft. So Dave's doing this one, a T50. What do you think to that, Andy Norfolk? Nice looking thing. Yeah, mm. yeah, obviously Tam here, so it'll be quite a thing. I, I can't catch what scale it is. Right. No, I can't see that either. No, I can't. Hang on. <laughs> Let's there. Yeah. What is one it? In 24, lads. One in 24. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Do you know what? He's, he's, he's loving his cars, he's Dave. Uh, he's loving his cars. Oh, now then, so back to me. Uh, need to do something about this seam, which is in the bottom of the sidecar there. Okay, that does look uh, nice which too. means that I cut a sheet of uh 0 0.01 millimeter plastic card out, primed it in black, <coughs> covered it in gray, <coughs> Jesus, modeled it in white, and then went over it in a dark gray to replicate this side of the panel there once i've done that i've installed that shim into that foot plate and that's the foot rest and james said that that pipe was not brown it was gray i've installed the uh, the foot heater at the front the heating element uh, which i've put very nice i don't know if people notice stuff like this about my photos but I've actually put it on top of the diagram that shows. Yeah. There it is installed at the front, and I'm just clamping it in so that it doesn't go anywhere. That's what it looks like on the inside, and I've put there seam seamless floor panel. So if you can remember that seam that were going down there, and that has now gone because of that shim of plastic air. Happy days. Lovely uh, job. Thank Beautiful. you very much, sir. Seems, seems sanded out, so uh, it's faint, but it, there is a seam there across the nose, and I managed to get that filled and sanded and did the same underneath. Didn't bother in there. Didn't bother in there, because that's where the bars go for the sidecar. I don't mind putting the effort in, but... Uh, and then because James has said, Mark, that pipe's grey, I had to get me naught point... Uh, no, sorry, my size 10 paintbrush out uh, and, and do it in situ, which were an absolute nightmare. No, no. It took some bloody doing. No. Let's have a look at balls. Have you seen all, Have you seen any of this? Yes, the I've seen that. That looks spectacular when it's open, does that? Really cracking job, is that? Yeah, because I was looking at them uh, where they... The rust and the mud on land tracks will look brilliant. 
So let's go through it. Let me open the page. Let's go through it and scrutinise our Paul's work. Uh, fantastic weather in Paul. We love it. Uh, a bit of a close-up. Can I get in a little bit closer? Can I drop that down a little bit? There you go. Do like stuff like that, Rude. Just a little deckel on the side. Yeah, it just lifts it, doesn't it? Mm. Just lifts it. It does, mate. I'm going to zoom out for that one. So what he's tried to do there, uh, Paul, I hope I'm doing it justice, and feel free to add your comments. So <coughs> Rob phone the other night. And he's saying, how can I add some kind of mud effect across here, Craig? So that I can run my tank tracks across it and get that sort of muddy effect. And I think he's done all right there. Yeah. See, I've got a clip. Yeah, you know the other band I've got yeah, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. And just put them across it. Mm -hmm. That's what you said, wasn't it? Time to have to copy to get that muddy face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't like his. He's got his. He's got his uh, a steel cabling going round this uh, round this part here. That looks really cool. Attention to detail, Paul, uh, and you've absolutely nailed it, mate. The pipes, the steel steel uh, lines going in there. That looks great. Let's lower that down a little bit. So this is a bridge layer, then, is it, Craig? Yeah. 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 And that top part completely opens up so that it can cross things like rivers and stuff, I'm guessing. Yeah. It's a really nice kit, that. Really. Is it really, really mate? Nice. It's lovely. Yeah, it's I like nice. it. <coughs> I'm just trying to skip to the part where even his hydraulic ram looks pretty cool. I think I think he's put a picture on where it's completely open. Oh, he's yeah, got it yeah. instead. There, look. Let me go back one. So it's it's sort of folded up, and then it comes across where it's elevating out. Uh, he said it was such a big kit, Craig. He actually found it really difficult to photograph. Yeah, I can believe it, and all that bridge would be massive. It, yeah, it says it's two oh, foot long. Look at the in length of that. Two foot long? Yeah, mate. I'd love to be the modern version for us. But that is stunning. Look at that. You're doing well there, oh, Paul, mate. We love it. Yeah, we're happy awesome with that. Job. Awesome. Awesome job. Anybody that sticks and glues bits of plastic together, awesome job. We love it. We love it, we love it, we love it. Uh, what we got on here now? So, uh, so this is uh, the kind of deal that Sean does for us at SGS Models. Uh, gives us a little bit of the old discount there, uh, which, which is happy days. Uh, back on to the Zundap, so the seat... Uh, the, the seat in the back there, Andy, that was, uh, see if I can find it, I've not taken the picture. So that was just primed in black and then painted with yeah. the MRP light brown. Uh, and then I've got, let me just come back onto StreamYard. So I've got another weathering product for you, mate. Right. And that is, I know it's down here somewhere, because I've just, so that is this one. <clears throat> That's another AK pro. Where's my camera? AK streaking grime. Okay. Right, mate. Thank you. Made a note of that. Oh, it's all right because Graham wanted to know anyway. Now, so let me tell you about AK streaking grime. So, AK uh, streaking grime. Uh, so I painted the seat in, I primed it in black yeah. by, with the airbrush. I airbrushed the MRP light brown, the streaking grime, a good old shake, take the lid off, put the lid on your bench, and with a knackered old brush, which is this one, and it's really stiff and, and you know, at, at the bristle. Yeah. 
stab it into the AK streaking grime, and then literally tap it onto the piece that you're doing. Yeah. Then with some blue towel, wipe off your brush so that there's nothing on it. Stipple it again to blend it in. Wipe it off. Stipple it again. Blend it in. Blend it. And it's just about the blending. Now, to create yeah. the blacks, let me go back onto my Facebook page. So, to create the blacks, can you see that AK Extreme thinner and cleaner there at the back? Yeah, I've got it down here, yeah. We love that stuff, Andy. That was just a cocktail stick dipped into it and then the excess, excess wiped off with some blue towel and literally where you touch it then it it removes material excellent just, just to give you that excellent. Mate. <laughs> and again uh that's that is finished however uh the one of the beauty things about modeling is you can always go back because when i've looked at it now i think do you know what that might need another stab of AK streaking grime just to blend that in. Right. Uh, the two springs on the seat, uh, they're fiddly because that part there in the spring, that's a separate part. The part that's underneath the seat is a separate part. So you've got to click that into there, click that into there, then glue the part to the seat, and then glue that part to the frame. Uh, that's a three hands and lots of patience job. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me go back. Uh, come on. Uh, I'll back to everybody talk. I have. Let me just scroll down again for a second. Uh, where's my cursor? I wonder if I can. Uh... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Excellent. Some more, some more, some more. We've seen all that. We've done all that. We've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen that. Here we go. Right. So, Shadow, uh, onto the sea. And you can see again, that's the MRP brown that I used over a black base coat. Uh, and then with the AK streaking grime, stab it on, stab it on, just keep stabbing. Uh, a little bit of highlighting on the brush with the uh, MRP brown, uh, just round the edge of the C, if I can. Down there, look. Uh, and then the next step is all about the blending, and it's just about stippling that... Uh, Stippling that AK streaking grime, stippling, stippling, blending, and doing a little bit of, well, just blending, really. And it turned out not too bad at all. Graham. Yeah, well, yeah. What's yeah. that, Andy? Yeah, Jane was asking about the leather effect, yeah. so that sort of right filled her in. Because uh, I think she might be using it on projects she's using at the minute. So that should be pretty cool, actually. So, Excellent. yeah, really, really. Uh, Graham has finished his 1 in 48 Phantom. That's a beauty, that is. Which it? is, what is that? It's an academy. That's the academy kit. So Graham's recently finished that. Let's have a look. Let's make that full screen and blow it up for you guys a little bit. And I think it's either his first or second attempt at an aircraft. Uh, he's, he's airbrushed it, which he's absolutely loving. Got the pilot figures in. He's doing all right there, isn't it, Graham? Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, sound, mate. Sound, sound as a pound. He's even got it in his cabinet, look. Days. More offers from SGS, more offers from SGS. Uh, the Airfix stuff is coming out. We'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, who's that? Oh, Kev. Kev Green, a distance member, putting on another bike. 
Uh, Rob Adams, distance member from Canada, putting on his latest build. That's the bike going together. Not going to bore you with that. Uh, now then, let's have a look at our genie's work. Gene, is still with us? Yeah, if he's still here. I'm listening, but I'm Let's have a look here. So, are we still here? Excellent. Yes. Let's have a look at our genie's work. Gene, do you want to have a look and explain... What we've got going off here, then, mate? Well, I just decided, well, I fancy doing something different, so I had a look at tunes. I think, well, what about Meg? I think the Meng. Meng is something. Meng, aren't they? It's a lift, yeah. Just something different. I've never done tank before, so that's my first attempt at one. So, you know, it's a kid, oh. easy build, but it's a bit of fun. Easy. She's done some tanks ball. and she's done Titanic. Uh, and she's on at minute with uh, the Monsters scene, which oh, we got yeah. at Telford. Uh, yeah, so I mean, them little tanks they are a bit of fun and they yeah. look fantastic. She's got the yeah, finish mate. just right. Um, if you if you notice the little cherub, all I'm painted, she's there never done go. figures like that. And if you go to the other one, the Panther, uh, uh, which no, 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 is. The orange one. So I'm going to go back, Andy, for, for our gym. Yeah. I can find my cursor. Well, there it is. Find my cursor. Let's come back. Oh, dear, bloody no. I've gone back too far. <laughs> but I've this, gone back too far. Go on, explain the it while I'm still on. The, the orange one, the panther, yeah. the, the, when the, the, the little figure is actually like... Um, it's like a, it's just a wooden blank, and she's formed right. it and painted it. Uh, she's painted the and painted the face, and she's actually recreated uh, the flower on the head. She actually made that herself uh, right. and painted it and put it on. Uh, and obviously, they've done a little diorama of their own, uh, and all that's all self built. Yeah. Uh, and then it didn't even know she'd done them until I turned around and she said, "Oh, here we are. Look, we've done them." So, bloody hell! <laughs> Uh, and okay. Titanic's on a seed bit. There you go. Look, the orange one. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, they're all in little dios. I know it's Go not. It, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. She's right enjoyed Absolutely. doing it. Yeah. And Absolutely. even like, if you can see that the little face has been hollowed out, painted yeah. on, and the flowers she's made herself. Brilliant. Gorgeous. Absolutely superb. You know what I mean? Well done, so, there you go. Brilliant. Proud of her. Yeah, we're loving it. We're loving it, loving it, loving it. Cool beans. Okay, so... Uh, come on, computer. Don't mess me about. If it goes back to the start now, I'm literally going to scream. Where's it gone? <laughs> let's go. Let's go back a page. And let's come out of that... There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm there going right go. back to the start. Oh, my God. Stop sharing. <laughs> right. So, Airfix. Let's just uh, a quick one about Airfix there. In fact, before we do that, before we do that, let's have a look at some of these comments. Because we have been chatting for the last half an hour. And we haven't come up for bloody air. So, uh, now, so Lisa Radcliffe, that's Paul's missus. But she ain't commenting. He's pinched her phone. Oh. Uh, and the most horrible looking bike of the 80s and 90s. And Suzuki have actually started building it again in real life with a <gasps> face. Oh, really my God. Tiny. Uh, what else have we got? And uh, no, we absolutely don't. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure that it was something that... Uh, we were chatting about earlier on. Uh, what's this one? Bailey Thomas, uh, outdone yourself yet again, Mark. They'll be ready to take off soon. Cheers, Bezza. Thanks for that, mate. You piss taking chuck bag. Uh, introducing. <laughs> to, I'm saying that because I know who he is. Uh, he's yeah. a friend of the family, uh, but uh, at least he's watching. Welcome to the stage. All right. <laughs> the machine. The machine. So we've changed the name. What have we changed the name to now? Lewis Henshell. Henshell. 
What's that? Explain. It's the German tank company that made all the Tigers and stuff. Boo! So, Boo! His! Boo! His! <laughs> I don't know. I reckon we should ban him for 12 months. Yeah. Ban him for 12 I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me tell you this. Ban Young Lewis for 12 months. He'll literally become half the man he is. Yes. You're right, mate. You're right. He's a, he's a star. I've, I've said it to his, his mum on numerous occasions. I've said it to his face. That guy is an absolute legend and he's an absolute treasure to the club. He really is. There's not many people, Lewis, get a legendary status at such a young age, you know. No, we don't mean legend, we mean legend. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> don't you go and the beauty uh, about it is he takes it all in his stride, bless him, doesn't he? I think, he, I think he's, think he's, he's sort of grown up with us. He knows that we're, we're all sort of behind him and for him. So, yeah, bless him. How, how are you getting on with your latest one, Lewis? I've not really done it since club. I've been uh, been busy. Oh, been oh, I. What, what have you been, been doing? Out. You've been out doing what? RC Where have you been? Racing. Been what? Racing. RC racing. All right. It's a new name for it, but there you go. So... <laughs> Boys. Oh, sorry. Oh. I've had the boys. Did you hear that then? Boys. Yeah. yeah. Boys. Yeah. Mick boys. just told me to shut up again. Have you, had, have you had a nice afternoon, mate? Yeah, I have. Cool. Okay. So, uh, back to club. Andy, where are we going in two weeks' time? We are going to Bolton. Which uh, it was a bit of a shock, actually. I didn't realise it was that close. Yeah, mate. Everybody, including uh, yourself, had forgotten about it. Uh, Pretty not literally, but you know what I mean. So yeah, this mate. was one of... this. I think this was the first show that Jane went to, ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And as you all know, we were stupendously awarded table at uh, Club of the, uh, the, the Show. Uh, display table of the show is the official display yeah. table of the show. Due to the diversity of the kicks on show and the standard of kicks on show, yes, uh, the the judges were very impressed with the wide range of kits that we were showing. The amount of knowledge that the kit builders were uh, able to relay to any questions that were asked. Uh, yeah. It was just a damn good deal. Uh, and myself and Jane were custodians of the almighty Lewis yeah. that day. Uh, yeah, right. Who did not but make me laugh. Okay, sorry. I'm just going through a walk and I'm walking my back. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't bring out back, so he come back with two armfuls. Uh, I did ask him today how many he actually brought back and I've forgotten, but no doubt he'll remind me. How many did he come back from Bolton, Lewis? About 20, give or take. 20 kicks. 20 kicks. <laughs> now, this is a lad, don't forget, this is a lad who hadn't been with us long. And it, it, I, for, I think it might have been Craig that actually got him on the tanks. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but he just went mental. Any tank shaped kit in the, in the, it was just a complete target to him. Uh, and I would try to warn him, I said, look, your mum's going to go by me. Uh, 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 she'll she be right, she'll be right. It's me own money, it's me own money. Said, yeah, all right then, mate, yeah. Uh, but Victoria, God bless us all, supported him all heartedly. Uh, and he, he's just gone from strength to strength. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he goes, well, not comes home with, but what he actually ends up displaying and uh, how Bolton goes this year, mate. So I'm <laughs> struggling to find out to tech. Uh, Jane's got loads of bits and bobs she can tech. Um, one yeah. thing in mind. Go on then. It's this Go on what? Russian. You've seen it, Mark. That Russian thing I did. Yeah, lovely that, mate. Yeah. I think I need more than that. We've got three double tables. <laughs> well, yeah. I, was oh, no, I can sort that problem out for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Lewis will do a bit of do that on his own. The amount of kits he's built it last twelve months. <laughs> Won't it? They'll be suspending them from banisters. 
I think I'm going to take... And I have got some, some builds in here now. I think I might take the hind helicopter, Andy. Yeah. A tornado. Yeah, good. I'm not sure about a tornado. Uh, Give up. Sure. Give up. You'll be taking one if not two. Maybe. Uh, I might take me, uh, <laughs> me Japanese samurai phantom because I do love that. Right. Uh... I might take me Desert Storm Eagle because I love that. Right. I do. I absolutely love that. I might take me CH-53 helicopter because I love that. Yeah. I might take me Big A-10 because I love that. Yeah. I might take me Big Spitfire because I love that. Craig, are you noticed how he's avoiding every other aircraft he's got looking at him? Right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Which we all know are tornadoes. And we all know, and I love that, and I love that. There's bound to be at least one or two, mate, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd love to take my Stoker back out for a show, you know, because I love that. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll take an handful, and, uh, and we'll see how we get on. I know why you're going to take that Stoker. Because why? you're going to shove it up people's noses that had a go at you for all bits of bobs you put on it. Yeah, mate, I know. It does look the actual business, though. It's that famous phrase that you came out with, it's my kit, and whatever is on that kit's going on. Absolutely. But um, uh, tish. Mate, I'm not spending 120 quid to put 20 quid's worth back in a plastic tub. No. No, it's no. going on. Yeah. It's going on. So, Bolton, Bolton, I think, uh, so it's the sixth today. The next club is in 14 days' time, which is the 20th. So it must About be Bolton. 20, is it 21st, Bolton? 21st, yes. yeah. 21st. And the theme at IPMS Bolton Show this year is silver. Have you got anything silver, Craig? Anything silver, Lewis? Rue, anything? No? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I've got one that might... It, I've got one that's silverish, and it might have a bit of a defect on it that somebody's pointing out, so I might take that one. Uh, I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of things I might just take, yeah. I that's 21st, isn't it, January? Yeah. I've got right. nothing silver, it's nothing at all. No, I've got nothing. I've got oh, it's nothing. made you, then. <laughs> well, after after Bolton, then on the 21st, Oh. After Bolton on the 21st, we've got first meeting of club in February. And then between that meeting and the next meeting, we've got Leeds Armouries. Is that on 10th? No. When is it then? I'll get my calendar up. That's oh, on. That's February the 18th. 18th. All right. That's the day after our second meeting in February. Right. But, but uh, So that's at Leeds Armouries. We, the, they were supposed to do a show at Leeds Armouries last year, uh, but unfortunately due to things beyond everybody's control, that got cancelled. Uh, so Jeff, uh, I, Wakefield IPMS has invited us over to show this year. I've never been in Leeds Armouries. Uh, and no, my, boss, my boss is actually thinking about coming down to meet everybody at club from York. Let's see. Wow. Lives in York. That's a theme. So, January and February, March, quiet month, April, quiet month, March, April, May. First weekend in May. Craig, where are we going? Second weekend in May. Duxford. Second weekend in May. Duxford. Second weekend. Duxford. Is that 11th? 11th, yeah. 11th, yeah. That's the 11th. The bus is paid for. In my fact, 18th. 17th. Mm -hmm. Bus is paid no, for. Uh, and uh, I think there's about 15 or 16 of us, 16 of us shooting down to 
uh, uh, what looks like a fantastic air museum. Has anybody been to Duxford before? Nope. No, I've been past it a few times in wagons, uh, and it's always been one of my my. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to go there, but it's going to yeah. be nice because Jane's coming with us, obviously. So that'll be cock on. I'm looking forward to that. Happy days. The best thing about that is obviously a minibus from Pontefract in West Yorkshire all the way down to Cambridge and back. Not cheap, but we're not at the wheel. We're not driving tired. Uh, we're, we're not we're, we're not having to concentrate. We can just go have a great day out, Andy. Uh, yeah. Club Birch, absolutely vital for that one. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, and go and have a good look right, mate. And I'm taking George because I want George. Uh, George is my 12 year old lad. I want George to experience stuff that you know when you you know my my dad didn't take me to bloody Duxford and all that sort of stuff. But I want to take George so that he can say I've seen something fantastic today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also with Jane, she'll have seen she'll be seeing real aircraft that she's never even thought. Why she's been a few. Uh, she's been to uh, Newark, Doncaster, Elvington, uh, and she's been seeing them. But I think with Duxford having the collection it's got, it's going to be really special, really special, even for me, to be honest. Yeah, mate, I, and me yeah. as well. Yeah. Happy uh, time. Yeah, been loads of times. Uh, put your comments on. Let's uh, tell me what. We, we, you've just heard us say uh, we've never been, we've never been, we've never been. Tell me what we're going to expect. Tell me how great it is. Uh, tell me if they've got good toilets because we're all all men and always pissing the set. Um, if there's a cafe there, if there's somewhere to eat, uh, what's it like for queuing? What's it like for being able to get close up to the aircraft, etc., etc.? Hobby time, put your comments on, mate. I'll show it on screen. Uh, and we'll have a look. Uh, what's that? Madam, going, Madam's going to bed. Happy day. So, she had a long day. Um, you, just, just while we're on, just while we're on, uh, the yeah. 17th of May, which is a Friday evening, there will be a slight celebration Carry on. for somebody's 60th birthday. No, normally yourself. It is, yes. Sixtieth oh, uh, time. 60th, yes. So there will be a bit of a shindig at Copley's. Uh, yeah. Details will follow, and it's basically an open invite, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. open invite to anybody in the vicinity. Obviously, announcements will be made closer to the date. So I'd look forward to having a good uh, odd drink or two oh, that God. evening. So that's at Farmer Copley's near yeah. Pontefract, Friday yes. the 17th of May at 7pm. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Yeah. Yes. Seven, seven to half seven, yeah. Seven the to whenever you turn up. The hair loft. Oh. The hair loft at Farmer hair Copley's. Loft. Yeah. Happy days. Duly okay. noted, duly noted. Thank you. Now, I, I need to rewind, Andy. I don't need to rewind ever so slightly. Right. So, every year we have a 24-hour build. Yeah. Uh, we've raised over £10,000 uh, personally and as a club and as a conglomerate with other organisations across Facebook in the last five years. £10,000 is what, what we've raised. Someone else. Uh, we've raised money for cancer research. We've raised money for so for cancer research. We did uh, a Bucket Street collection. Uh, then, uh, then I think COVID hit, but we did uh, a food bank raise where we raised money. Uh, sorry, we yeah we raised no we we raised we did food uh, for the local food bank that were over three hundred quid's worth. Then we did COVID for two years, so we couldn't do a bloody thing. Then we did Models for Heroes last year, where we raised £3,576, I do believe, for Models for Heroes, from Alcum and the guys there. 
Uh, I've done kits for kids this year of a five and a half grand. We've, <laughs> we've done the local air cadets. That was 1,500 quid. I mean, it's just yeah. unbelievable the amount of money that myself and the club have raised. And this year, I think we're doing... I think we're doing one for Neil for Padre. Yeah. Uh, and it's to help the, the young kids who are affected by cancer. Uh, I do believe that we're doing that. So the reason that I've brought that up, mate, is because we do a 24-hour build. And when I've looked through the calendar today, and I am going to put this on the Facebook page, so please make a note, the first Saturday in May is Saturday the 4th. Yeah. May the Sunday the 5th. Uh, may the 4th be with you. Sunday is the 5th, but Monday is the first early spring bank holiday. So I think we're going to do the 24-hour build. Note for everybody's diary is on Saturday the 4th of May because we're awake for 24 hours. We do sleep then on Sunday, but we've got Monday off from work. Because it's the bank holiday, or the most of the country has, which lets us have time to recover. Uh, and like I said, this year it's for, I think it's for uh, something like Make-A-Wish, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what time will we start in? Have you any ideas yet? Or is that to be yeah, announced? I Absolutely, mate. We will be starting at normal club time, which is nine o'clock, but we're all there for 20 past half past eight. But the official start time will be 9 a.m. on Saturday, right. the 4th of uh, May. We work, we, we all build models at the club, and we've got permission to be in the hall uh, for the full 24. So we build models right through till Saturday tea time. Saturday night at nine o'clock, and then we continue through Saturday night up to midnight into Sunday morning, round to Sunday at 9 a.m. By which time, uh, we all know that we've been awake for 24 hours, unless, of course, you're Dave Alstroff. Uh, uh, and we raise, we raise as much money as we possibly can for, for our chosen charity. And like I said, this year, I do believe that it is. <laughs> Make a wish. Uh, going back to hobby time, then uh, uh, the comment on screen there, Craigie. Not really for you because you're a tank guy, but you know what an SR seventy one is and a B fifty two. I'm sure. I do. And I've never ever seen one in real life. Never ever. seen one in real life. No. No. The SR seventy one, uh, I do believe, is a spectacle in itself. Uh and uh, I'm laughing because I'm reading comments. Uh, and the B-52 is absolutely enormous. He also <laughs> says, toilets aren't bad, you can't touch most aircraft. Kathy's not bad, but expensive. Thanks for that one. That's packed lunch for me then. Yeah. Uh, happy days. Uh, the Victor is amazing now it's finished being restored. Thank you for that. Appreciate that comment. Uh, really do. Do you know what? Uh, we are really, uh, well, I am. I think we all are really looking forward to going. Really looking forward to yeah. it. Uh, James, we've had your uh, pictures on uh, the Facebook page earlier. Hey, on James. Uh, yeah. And good evening to you. Uh, and I did just mention the old uh, Davy Housecroft. Oh, I'm hoping he's chuckling, laid on his bed with his swollen pork chop style ankle because he's put. <laughs> He's poor. This one, I'll change that. Git. <laughs> uh, that, that's an in-house joke. So, basically, I will tell everybody, Dave, because you're on my stream. So, unfortunately, you are subject uh, to what I put on the screen. Uh, so, a couple of years since we did a 24-hour build. Uh, and Dave went for try, to try and get a little bit of shut eye. Uh, and he disappeared for, for a good hour and came back. Uh, and I said, have you had a good sleep? And he went, I can't, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. So, bless him, uh, sort of stayed away for another hour. And then I thought, I'm going for another try. Another try. How do you try? Going for another try. He <laughs> disappeared for another couple of hours. So we all absolutely ripped the piss out of him and said, you've had two sleeps. 
Bless him. Hobby time. The land warfare area is great. Craig Stins, Lewis Dell. Yeah, so we've got tanks. Really? I did not know that. I thought it was just aircraft. Yes. No, they've got an armor section. They've got a chieftain marksman. Yeah. That they've just re and redone. Yeah. So they've got quite a bit of armor as well. Yeah. So. All right, cool. I think George will like that, Andy. I think George might be into a bit of armor, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's it's something else. I'm, many years ago, I went down to the English Heritage thing, uh, yeah. and they had a, a trench set up, which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, not only did they sort of have a, an arena for live show and that, uh, but that sort of encourages uh, encouraged me into looking into World War One and World War Two on the ground, whereas obviously nowadays I'm more into air and whatever. But uh, I'm not looking forward to it, mate. I really am. I'm really looking now. Now I know they've got an SR seventy one there. I'm just getting really giddy. I really Proper. am. Proper. Uh, and thanks to Obi Time for sharing that information. Absolutely superb. And like Craig, he says Craig is looking forward to the armor section. Uh, are you taking your boy down with you, Craig? If there's room, I'll ask him if he wants to come. I'll pay for him and fetch him down. I'll tell you, well, I'm taking George, so I'm paying for George, but I will tell you with Ange, uh, and uh, we've got, I think it's a, is it a 15 or a 16 seater minibus, Andy? What, which one is it? Can you remember? I think it's 16, isn't it? 16. Sure. Craig, if we've got a spare seat, mate, uh, then uh, it would be nice to have a little Logie Bear coming along. Okay, so, so in, so in January, February, Busy March, April, quiet May, 24 hour building club, the 11th, Duxford, week after the 18th, week after club. So, May is busy, yeah. May's busy, what is all June? Let's have a look here. June, nothing happening. June, two normal clubs on Saturday, first and Saturday, 15th, okay. So regular normal normal clubs. Uh then we've got uh July, Saturday sixth, and Saturday the twentieth. What happens in July? Nothing, we're quiet. August, Saturday the third, Saturday the seventeenth, standard. Same for September, same for October. Then we hit the patch, Andy. Then we hit the patch. Right. Then we're talking about November. When we get to November as a club, November, December, January, February, those four months, they are our busiest months. So, Saturday, uh, let's just have a look here. Saturday, is it the 2nd? 2nd of November, yeah, that'll be club. So uh, that, again, that's let's start there, mate. That's AGM. Yeah, AGM, right. So at the AGM, because we're we're a massive club, because we're a massive club, we have an AGM every year, guys, and we talk about how much money clubs taken, what we're forecast to take next year, what we've spent it on, what we're helping the guys with. Do we need any equipment? Who's running the club? Admin nominations, uh, theme for competition next year. All sorts of things on the AGM. On Saturday the 16th, we've got competition day where Craig is fighting, vowing, doing everything he possibly can to make sure that what, Craig? My name's twice in a row on the trophy. <laughs> The only one that's not done it. Where's the trophy now? Have you got it to hand? Have you got the trophy yeah. to hand? Come on, let's have a look. Let's get it out. We've got to big the lad up. So the 16th is competition day. And I did say that we got a judge. Well, yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let's, uh, let me just blow our Craigie up here. Let's uh, hold it there, son. There we go. Look at that. 
So that's our it. club shield. Okay. And the names across there, I think we've got... Oh, we got on there. We've got Mark Wilson. Can we quick polish? Quick, quick polish. Mark Wilson, Paul Patton, Craig Stins. Is it Alan Stringer? Alan, Alan Stringer. Then there'll be another yeah. Craig Stinson in 2024. <laughs> um, in fact, I've got my little pen here. Where is it? Come on. More than half of you. So Come on, bring it. it up so this, this is your ma <laughs> moment to shine. Come on. So, where are we? Can we see his names? There we go. There we go. It is a bit Very reflective. Nice. We, get, we get the general yeah. idea of Mr. Stins. And then when I get my pen, oh, see, look. <laughs> and, and you write it into the next shield. <laughs> yeah, I've got it already. <laughs> Happy days. Well, do you know what, mate? Best of luck. Uh, I, I think even I'm entering this year. So we have got a judge, and I, and I have confirmed it. And I haven't even told anybody at the club yet. So you three guys are going to be the first to know. Plus the people who are watching. Okay, we've secured this year the services of a gentleman called Paul. Wong from IPMS Bolton. Right. Now, Paul came to our club when we were at the Burntwood Centre. Uh, we invited him along to just come and have a look at our club and see what we were all around or all about. Uh, and he brought a chat with him uh, uh, who does uh, electrical rigs for models. Uh, and his name is Christopher Bate. And he runs his own little uh, show called Lee Models and Hobbies. So if you want to write that down, it's L-E-I-G-H, Lee Models and Hobbies. And if you have a look on, in fact, I can share screen. If you have a look on, uh, if you have a look on Facebook, I'm, I'm just going to search it out now. L-E. Let's see if it comes straight up. There it is. Lee Models and Hobbies. So, back to StreamYard. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Here we go. Okay, so Lee, Lee Models and Hobbies. You can see it there. Look, that's what you're looking for. L-E-I-G-H. Uh, 2,000 members in Chris's group. And basically, so there he is, look, Christopher Bay. So what Chris does is he puts together lighting rigs for models. Can you see that? Yeah. Pretty cool, that. I like that. So what Chris does is he puts all the wiring packed together the little battery. Uh, there's no point in me trying to talk electronically because I ain't got a clue. Uh, but that's what Chris does. Okay. That's what Chris does. Uh, but he also makes rigs for you. If you if, if you get hold of Chris and you say, I'm doing a, a Dan Buster's Lancaster or, you know, a Tornado or whatever, whatever. Uh, can you sort me a rig out for that, or have you got a rig for this? Uh, then, uh, then Chris will sort you out. So the exhibition season for ourselves is finished for 2023. We are next out mid January 2024 for the Bolton IPMS show. Uh, here is a small selection of our display light series stands we have had over the last couple of years, and you can see he's got loads of lighting rigs here, Andy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you, you self-install them, obviously, into the kit that you're building. Uh, and you can light it up. Well, that's there something I've been looking into. Uh, I've been uh, blowing my mind with capacitors and this, that and other, and LEDs of various in sizes and ampage and wattage and yeah. voltage and this, that other. Uh, and it's yeah. something I have been looking into. Uh, and I'm just about yeah. ready to have my first go. I did buy some at, at yeah. um, 
uh, Telford. Uh, and yeah. I've had one or two problems with it. I think it's me being a bit thick. Uh, but it's something I'm working on. Uh, I do like it. Uh, it's more lights. I haven't got motors incorporated as yet or anything like that or a soundboard. But it's something I've been looking at, especially with sort of like uh, static aircraft or maybe just something just to sort of bring them to life. Uh, I have a few ideas uh, with kits I've got now, what I want to do yeah. with them. A uh, couple of special yeah. effects that I'm working on. Um, it's, it, like like yourself, I'm becoming more of a YouTube guy than anything else. Yeah. And the amount of information there is just mind-boggling. Absolutely mind-boggling. Mind so, yeah, it'd be interesting. I'm going to have a look at that later on uh, and yeah. see, what, see what's what. Cheers, cool. Thanks for that. Uh, Alcy says, was it the same guys that brought the Falklands Harrier diorama display? It absolutely was, Dave. Uh, yeah, you've nailed that one, mate. It certainly was. Uh, so, 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 where were we? So, Saturday, the 2nd of November, AGM. Uh, the 9th of November nothing the 16th is club competition we were on about that with craigie now then this year so we've got paul wong as our uh, as our judge now the reason that we've asked paul is because number one is an exemplary modeler and he knows exactly what he's looking for uh number two is a special friend of club he's been before and we all know him and he recognizes our faces, Andy, on, on social media. He knows who oh, we brilliant. are. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. He knows who we are. Uh, and then what I've uh, what I've what I've done, Andy, uh, Craig yeah. and Lou, is uh, yep. I've said to I've said to Paul, if you come over and judge our competition uh, the, on the Saturday, the sixteenth, on the following Friday, we're having our first annual, and hopefully not the last. Uh, presentation evening and I've said to Paul you can come and be guest of honour uh, at the presentation evening the club will come and pay for your three course meal in the hotel that we're having at uh, and just to sort of, as, a, as an appreciation Andy to say thank you for coming over last week and doing the judging yeah no problem sound so, yeah uh, good idea is that yeah is that is that all right, that Craigie? Totally, yes. I'd totally. even say, why don't we look at putting them up in a room? If right, do you want me to I put some up to £10 an hour? Hey. Yep. You know, if it's... I'll put, I'll, right, okay, yeah. I'll put subs up, mate, to £10 an hour. Uh, I know it's a long <laughs> way for him to come, and I, and I have messaged Paul tonight, and uh, well, I've explained it to him, and he said uh, his quote was... His quote was, let me get this up. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. So I've, I've explained it to him. And Paul said, Mark, wow, I'm absolutely blown away. Uh, thank you for considering me to judge. And I'd be delighted and honoured to be a guest judge. You guys are an inspiration to modelling communities. Wow. Hopefully, I'll see you at the Bolton show. To which, obviously, I replied uh, a quick thumbs up because I was washing pots. Uh, and then, sure thing, mate, I'll come and catch up with you then. Go through the ins and outs. Brilliant, mate. Catch you later. The bus was brilliant, by the way. Uh, 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 thank you, sir, very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, you yeah, mate. Do you know what? It's the same as what I put on our Facebook page earlier on, Andy. Sesco. Is one of the most recognizable names across the modeling community, period. Yeah. End of. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of that's to do with you and the way you've publicized it, uh, the way the guys have represented us, represented us when we've been away. Uh, it, 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 it's just it really, isn't it? I mean, where everybody has contributed. No matter what, and it all mounts up to being like that's one of the best things I've ever heard that we're actually recognizable throughout the Melbourne community. So, yeah, I'm chuffed to bits with that, mate. Chuffed to bits, yeah, very much so. Uh, the, the funny thing about it is, and is that 
right. when people see the merch and the, the Sesco, South Emsall, South Kirby Upton, the five towns where the, where the club is based. But people still come to me at shows and they say, what is that word? How do you say that word? What is that? Ses, ses what? Sessy what? You say, oh, it's Sesco. What the, what the you know, does Sesco stand for? What's it, what does it mean? What does it mean? It's like some kind of old uh, North American Indian squat squaw type of no mate South Emsall South Kirby Upton. It, it's the towns where we are. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, very very recognisable uh, across many many uh, social media uh, outlets: YouTube, TikTok, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. They're, they're all there. And again, that Harbour's back tour one hour and 50 minutes ago when I was saying it's only down to you guys that come club in, club out, put a bum on a seat, help us do what we do, pays the rent, pays the insurance, and you all come and enjoy what you're doing. Excellent. Loved it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, the presentation evening. Uh, I'm going. Ru? You? Ru's already booked. Of course, I've got to go to get my trophy. Oh, uh, I tell you what, I think he's in for it again. You know, he's exuding that much confidence. He's got it. It's just going to be. He'll just swagger up, won't he? Like some out of a James Bond film. Pick it up and go. Yeah, and just wander off ah. again. Yeah, that's it. Look at me. I'm the man. Let him. I hope you do it, Craig. I really do, mate. I hope you do it. It's, a, it's it's something to strive for, isn't it? Not nobody's done it yet. So no. it's something to strive for, isn't it? And hopefully get there. Right. What's and what's try. else? What's up? What's hang on a minute here. What have we got going off here? So House is said. Uh we know that. I saw that one. Uh James says, Oh no, you're not. James ain't got a clue what you're talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I think you're on about. Yeah, you're on. Yeah, Panto. Of course, he's been to Panto. Uh, what's that mean? Black heck, Mondage. I haven't got a clue. Dave, mate, you're Dave gonna have to did. come on and explain that one. Uh, Black heck. Drunk. No idea. He's got me with that one. Presentation evening, that's what we're talking about. We've got over 50 covers for that evening. Uh, a cover is obviously a meal. We're doing a three-course meal in a fantastic hotel. Yeah. Uh, with accommodation, if you want. Andy, you said that you've booked yours already. Yeah, it's all booked and well, more or less paid for, I think. More or less so. paid for. Absolutely brilliant. That means that, so on the night, so obviously we've talked about it today. Uh, and so the, the sort of general, I mean, you've got to remember, lads, it's January. And once yeah. it comes to the actual night itself, it might alter ever so slightly. However, by the sounds of it, the rule of thumb is, right, number one, we're going to, we're all meeting up for 7pm at the hotel, suited and booted, looking the part. Number two. Straight to the bar, let's get the drinks in. Number three, we're going to sit down and hopefully they'll start serving the starters, the mains, then the desserts round about 7.30 p.m. We have our three course, which uh, Paul will uh, hopefully be attending. Uh, Paul Wong from Bolton IPMS as guest of honour. Uh, after that, uh, we're going to have uh, a, a sort of like a master of ceremonies, if you will, Andy, who's going to start and do the presentation. Yeah. Now, I have to rewind ever so slightly because things are obviously changing all the time. And if you remember, when we talked about this la at the back end of last year at the club, we said that, that we've got six categories and the judge is going to go round. I'm going to go round with him, uh, clipboard. In fact, I might not be able to, actually, if I don't see him, but I, I digress. And 
what, what we're going to do is when you put a piece, because we've got six categories, we've got if it flies, we've got if it goes on the road, so wheels and tracks, we've got if it goes in the sea, nautical, or under the sea, water, we've got busts and figures, we've got space, sci-fi, futuristic, warhammer type of stuff. And we've got uh, for dioramas, yes. six categories. And what we originally said was that, so if you imagine that there's six tables out in the main hall and there's 15 models on this one and 15 and 10 and da 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 And we said, yeah, when the judge to judge yeah. it, <laughs> for the three, for the bronze, the silver and the gold, is going to put, a little token at the side of each one. Yeah. We've got to name our pieces so that right. he can write down. So, so, for example, he'll write down uh, flying, number three, uh, Spitfire, number two, uh, Tomcat, number one, Tornado. And, and the judge keeps that sheet close to his chest. Nobody knows. Once he's done all the tables and he's put the tokens out on those people have placed everybody piles back in you go back up to your table and you go oh i've placed but i don't know whether i've come first second or third okay yeah then on presentation evening the following friday the results are read out however we're going to change that ever so slightly mate and i hope you agree we can appreciate that if there's 10 models in flying and the 10 people go in and see the three tokens, the three people are going to be quite happy. But that means that seven people know that on the presentation evening, they're not in with a trophy shout. Right. So we're not going to put tokens against the winners. We're going to right. write the down on a sheet of paper and all those 10 people that go and have a look at flying because they've all entered there'll be no no announcement of who's actually placed right no yeah the judge's decision is final the judge will have the sheet of paper close to him at all times and he knows who the winners are. He knows who's come third, second, and first in every single class. Right. Come to the presentation evening. Where it's, we want to ramp it up. We want absolutely fantastic. So, nice lighting. Somebody filming the presentation, taking photos, bit of music on the background, really, really low. And we're going to say, so, aircraft, and your nominees are... And we're literally going to read out and say, Spitfire, Tornado, da 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 for all 10. Like they do at the Oscars, but obviously yeah. they just cut to the chase and say, and your winner is. We will cut to the chase and say, in third place, it is Spitfire. And whoever's, yeah. you, you will title your entry for whatever you want to title it. If you want to yeah. write, Spitfire with dog, then that's what the judge will write down as, as your yeah. competition entry. So when it comes to actual presentation evening, I'll have the sheet of paper, I will give it to the guy that's doing the presentation, and he will say, your nominations in flying are, daddy daddy da, and your third place winner is Spitfire with dog. And you know if you built Spitfire with dog. Yeah. You'll come up and get third. He'll set Thank same for second. Much. He'll set same for first. And that way, that way, it keeps the suspense of all those 10 people who have entered on a knife edge right to the very end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I knew... Right that. <laughs> well, I'm used to different presentation nights because obviously with racing and that, your green points over here and you go to do expecting to get first, second, third, or you know, bollocks. But this, it's different. I like it. Uh, I just think, yeah, why not? It, you know, it's like you say, it's an Oscars thing. 
So why not? You know, let's make a, a good do of it. You know, I think we'll all be quite merry by that time. And Absolutely. it'd be like, yes, yeah, let's have a laugh. You know, everybody laugh. can take the mickey out of each other. And Craig will be sat there champing a bit on his starting blocks, looking like, a, who's it, Bolt, that sprinter, ready to go and get, collect his prize. Bless yeah, him. Mate. Uh, I've had confirmation what I've had confirmation what clack clack heck Mons edges. Right. There you go. Now know. then. No, now then. Now then, what do we used to call it? We didn't used to call it that. Uh right, I'll think about it because I used to live in that area. Um, and I can't remember what the bloody hell we used to call it. Um, it'll come to me, but I know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. yes, Dave. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, Stidge or something like that, we used to call it. Yeah, Ekman, something like that. It, it, it was like three towns all, all nipped together. Yeah. yeah, many a happy hour in all three of them. Yeah. Uh, the last time, uh, the last time I saw that particular word there, uh, I was yeah. on the optic. Right, so James says, agree with what Andy said, exactly what has been said this week. Great club. Thanks for that, James. Appreciate that. Thanks, mate. James. Thank you. Uh, and uh, here's our Gray. So Gray's models on Facebook. That's Graham from Cleethorpes. Evening all. Ah, that hey, boy. Where's my fish and chips? We're doing okay. So, presentation evening. So, kicking it off at seven, eating a three-course meal, which looks absolutely fabulous at half past. We finish that. We hand over to the uh, master of ceremony to, to start the presentation. We've got six classes, Andy. So, we're going to yeah. do three. We're going to do three because at the end of the day, uh, that's going to be three, six, nine trophies given out. Bronze, silver, gold, bronze, silver, gold, bronze, silver, gold. Uh, then we're going to do a raffle. Right. Uh, the reason that we're going to do a raffle is uh, I think all the money that we raise, as daft as it sounds, is going to go to... You know that this meal is silver service, don't you? Oh, yes. Lewis? Yeah. Yeah. Lu Lewis, what's silver service, mate? Um. That's sure. Right, silver service. Silver service, mate. It's where people bring you your food. You'll never have to get out of your chair. Ah, yeah. So those young, and they are young, because obviously the the typically students <coughs> oh who, who get absolutely jacked. So those those young students are going to look after us because we are a very charitable club. Uh, all the money that we raise, I do believe from the raffle is going to go and get split up between all our silver service runners on the night. Excellent. What a cracking yeah, idea yeah. that is. Thank really? You. Yeah. Good yes. idea. That, man. I know. I'm, I'm good, mate. I'm, I'm good. Uh, after that, after the raffle, uh, and again, for raffle, I'm going to get hold of some people who I know. Uh, we're going to get hold of people at, uh, at Airfix and one thing or another and say, look, you know, can, can we have a prize? Can we have a prize? Uh, after the raffle, we're going to go for the last three categories. After those, uh, we'll do the overall winner, which is... Uh, is it you, Craig? It is, yeah. I don't want to get that. Craig, I think you're getting our heads mixed up. I don't want to make people's faces to share. But, you know, yeah, I know. just be careful because if it comes and bites you in ass after the overall competition winner, uh, Andy, guys, as you know, we have a member of the year trophy that we hand out. Yeah, uh, what, what we do as the admin team throughout the year, year. Uh, <laughs> what, what we do as the admin yeah, team throughout the more. year is we keep we we just sort of keep a, a little bit of an a little bit of an eye on everybody. Uh, and the people who are d just going above and beyond and, and trying to really not not stand out like showy off, just, you know, just to go above and beyond. It's just a natural thing. Uh, that person, we, we go through uh, admin nominations and we said, this person's been absolutely outstanding this year. 
and we've got a trophy for that as well. Uh, I've got to get hold of Padre uh, and see what he wants to do with the Neil Moxon Memorial Trophy, whether he wants to do that on competition day or whether he's happy to hold off until the presentation evening. Once the presentation evening is done, then it's straight to bar, mate. Sorted. Happy days. I love it when a plan comes together. Don't we just? Uh, and then Don't that's wait. it. Finally, into December, December, Saturday the 2nd, no, December the 7th, uh, yeah. zero 07, that's our last club of the day, that culminates uh, number 22, I do believe, is it 23, might be 23 meetings, what year, uh, and then the following week we all bolt off down M62 to Halifax and spend all the money that we've saved. Right, so we're back in it, Dave, yeah? Yeah, mate. Excellent. Super. Right, I've got all them dates now. Lewis, does that sound of... like a good year? Yeah, it sounds brilliant, mate. Sounds, sounds brilliant. Great. Craig, are you happy with that? 100%, yes. 100%. Andy, are you happy with that? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm all over, mate. And for once, I've actually got all my dates written down. So I know what I'm doing. Uh I was talking to Ange today and she's sorted me all out with everything that I've paid for, not paid for or whatever. So that's working really well. We've got cards and receipts and this and that other. So that's a big thing with me because I tend to forget everything. So yeah. that's all That's all locked up. Jobs are good, mate. Looking forward to it. I'm sat here as proud as Punch Andy and lads. Uh... I'm not smug, I'm very humble in what everybody uh, contributes just by coming, uh, just by turning up, meeting after meeting, helping set up. We get a sandwich from Butty Shop, we sit, we natter, we model, we welcome new modellers like we have today with the two. It's great to see old faces, new faces, and we all just get cracked on. We have days out. We're having a presentation evening, a fantastic competition. We're a great judge, and we, we, we do as much as we possibly can to make the club as enjoyable as we can for you guys. And hopefully that is working. Definitely okay. is. Definitely is. Right. So, uh, do you know what? We're going to wrap it up because, let me just have a look here. We've got a side phone coming on. Uh, oh, give one. Let me have a look here. I've got, do you know what? Charlie's watching Andy. Right? Yeah. In, out, on telly. Who, who am I shouting at here? Charlie, George, Bez and Leah. So I've got to give a shout out while I'm live on screen. Uh, let me just do this because this will make the chuffing day. Get ready for this one. Right, I'm going to drag that across to there. Right, so my kids are watching and they've got the friends around. Uh, this is right. personal. So for Charlie, George and Leah and Bez, uh, hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, see you next time. <laughs> yeah, chuffing sobs. <laughs> <laughs> They've sent Sally a text saying, Go and tell me dad to give me a shout out. <laughs> All right, boys, thank you for listening. Yeah. Unbelievable, you guys, unbelievable. Uh, comments uh, Deb Sanderson, hi, Lewis from Deb's at Gray's Model. Oh, Gray's Model's missus. Hello, that's for you. Uh, hey, Lewis. <laughs> Shut up, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> All right, is that you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Your wife and daughter. Great. Hello. L <laughs> Lewis is on the prowl. Uh, <laughs> <I can. laughs> That's very nice, that. Thank and, you, uh, cheers. Right. That covers the club today and it covers the uh for every I, I am gonna wrap it up because it's two minutes and uh, we're coming up to two and a quarter hours. It's flown by Andy, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting more into it now. If I can sort this thing out, I'd be a bit better, but at least we're back yeah. up for so job's good. Job's are good. Yeah, all good. 
Uh, Lois, thanks for popping on for the last hour, mate. Uh, what are thanks you building so at the minute? What are you doing? Mm. What's that? What's that? It's an 88 millimeter King Tiger shell. Of course. Oh, well, there you um, go. These have got a crest today. What's right. that? Uh, grenade box, German grenade box. So all oh, right. And then I'm uh, putting a wash on them. Good lad. Happy days. Excellent. Uh, Greggy, it looks like you're batting on with your competition piece. Yeah, and a couple of figures that I've got here. We'll, we'll show them off. Go on. Got... All right, yeah, of... for your Oh, very there. nice. Very nice. Yeah, a couple of Afghanistanis and another set here. Oops. Yeah, lovely. Cool. Do, you want to that? Do you want to just hold that trophy up one more time before we go? Do I have to? Come on, man. Yeah, mate, of course you do. What do you mean, do I have to? What do you mean? Are <laughs> yeah. oh, you kidding, man? Oh, are you kidding? I've got another year of this. Oh, no, sorry, another two years of this. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I'll tell you what I want from you, Craig. I'll tell you what I want from you. You've got a picture behind you of a tank, right? Yes. What you need on there, mate, for when you come onto the live stream, when you, you're a regular live streamer with me now, you need a little, that's it, you need a little There shout. you go. That's the one. That's there the one. There you go. You need, I and I'll that tell that you that. what, you need, to do, you need to do it. You need a little shelf on there, pride of place, with your trophies on. Why wouldn't you? So that you can just turn your camera around ever so slightly and have all your trophies across the back there. That's I'm a sure stunning idea. I'm sure right, okay. I'm going to name that. Right. Not that I'm bringing it to Bolton all like that with me. You know, I won't, I won't go that far and bring it to Bolton. You know. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Two and a quarter hours. Uh, I want to thank... Uh, we actually got up to 23 people watching in the end, which is a massive number for me. Excellent. Uh, I know that some uh, some people uh, on their live streams have forties, fifties, and hundreds, but actually, if we touch twenty, I'm quite happy with that. So I want to thank uh, Craigie for you no know, Lewis first of all. I want to thank Young Lewis for joining me on the live stream this evening. Thank you, love. No problem. It's been fun. Been You're enjoyable. welcome. Thanks for joining on, and I will catch you later. Cheers, matey. So that's young Logan. Uh, Craig, you're next. So thank you very much for coming on this evening. No problem. Oh, thank you. Uh, and uh, and sharing your experiences. Uh, and good luck with the uh, competition this year. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Catch you later. Uh, me and Andy left. Andy, as usual, mate, you're an absolute legend. I've made you the Facebook uh, banner because you definitely thank you. deserve it. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, mate. Much appreciate that, mate. Thank you. We both mate, do. The comment that I put on, you are club through and through. You've been there since day one. Yeah. Uh, you are the first to put your hand up, mate, whenever we, we, we uh, you know, come up with a suggestion. Uh, if you've got any feedback, it's always brilliant constructive feedback that you, you know you don't you, you're one of the guys Andy that never rubs against the grain uh, and makes it really hard for us you you go yeah. along with what we want you can tweak things uh you're an absolute legend in my book mate thank you very much Matt cheers mate you thank you I will see you next time cheers pal see you guys cheers, thanks love bye thank you love so that leaves just me on my own with the last 14 watching Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. You've just listened to me, Andy, Craig and Lewis rattle on for the last two hours and 19 minutes uh, talking about club and uh, club today and club what we've got going on for the next year. Listen, listen, I'm not your dad. Listen, the club uh i talk about the club absolutely all the time and to run a club to be part of admin on a club founder of a club uh and and just general general go-to guy it's it's one percent in here 
uh, and I'm going to do it. It's 99% in here. You've absolutely got to have uh, a driving person at the front who's driving it hard, making decisions, coming up with ideas. That's absolutely paramount. Coming up with ideas, uh, being, being accountable and responsible for you offer your members down at club 30, 35 members on the books. We usually average round about 24, 25. As highest attendance last year was actually 39, all in the same meeting, uh, which was just unbelievable. If you can drop on a venue, either a library or a community centre, uh, maybe a school, some a fire station, uh, they sometimes have, have back rooms where you can get five or six like-minded people to come along with you, uh, either on a week night, a Saturday, a Sunday even, whenever, and, and literally kickstart something off. Then it can grow, not rapidly, but it can, nice and steady, it can grow into something that is beautiful, that you love with all your heart, you put your heart and soul and all your passion into it, get a great team behind you, uh, great uh, use of social media, Facebook, Insta, TikTok, YouTube, the whole lot. All those channels are dead, dead easy to set up uh, and they're dead easy to monitor and you can start doing it and start doing it. Uh, and before you know it, you're having great, great years with big competitions, presentation evenings with over 50 people going, same as us. Uh, days out, ducks for their museum. You can afford coaches because you charge rent and da 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 da. Merchandise that you want to that you want to get in, and it just absolutely ties it all together. All of it. It's absolutely such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay, uh, and I, and I could not do it without the team side of me and the guys who come week in week out down to club okay it's it's brilliant i love it uh currently on with the uh zundap 750 uh, i can't show you me my bench uh because it does literally look like a bomb's gone off uh there's three quarters of it uh i've, I've stopped doing the bike so i can move on to the sidecar uh, and the fenders and one thing or another. I'm loving this kit. It's the Italieri 1 in 9. Uh, Zundap uh, BMW motorbike with sidecar. Never built a bike before. Uh, and really, really soaking this one up. I'm absolutely loving it. The people that follow me on Facebook uh, and YouTube will see that culminate into something that's hopefully uh, absolutely great. Uh, and uh, hopefully it's going to be done for Leeds Armoury show in February. Don't think it'll be done for Bolton in January because I have slowed down so much in my model building, sanding every seam out, making sure it's absolutely cock on before I put it to a presentation status. Okay. Thanks to everybody that's watched. As usual, uh, I've enjoyed tonight's live stream and I hope you have too. I hope that you are loving what we do down at Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. I've shown you some products. I've talked about SGS, Craigie uh, winning competition, Andy loving club through and through, Young Lewis coming through the ranks, absolutely loving it. Uh, and uh, we're really, really looking forward to a, a great year. Okay. If you've got any questions, uh, you can uh, pop your comments onto the uh, YouTube version of this. Uh, if you need any help or advice or anything like that, just let me know. Just drop me a line. Uh, and I will genuinely help you all I possibly can. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. When's next club? No, it's, what is it first? Yeah, we've got one more club to do, and then we're at Bolton. If you go to the IPMS Bolton show, which I think is at the, I think they used to call it the Macron Stadium. I'm not sure if they even call it that anymore, but it's where Bolton Wanderers Football Club play. If you see me there, or you see any of the lads there, same as Telford. Give me a shout. I don't. Uh, I don't bite. Okay. I will say hello, 
uh, and I will give you a shout out on the next stream and the next video that I do. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody, and take care, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.